So the planet is on fire and there are many causes that are damaging the planet. So we'll go through them and the possible solutions for them. So let's get started. These are the causes that are damaging the planet. So uh, let's go through them real quick. Number one is deforestation. Number two is using non-renewable energy resources uh, for production of electricity. And the industries, of course, they're uh, like, uh, like uh, using, uh, they're outputting a lot of heat and other stuff that are damaging the planet, like uh, uh, toxic chemicals and all that stuff. And number four is the fuel usage, for example, petrol, diesel, and uh, these kind of fuels for cars and everything. Of course, cars run on these fuels and we run them a lot. Everyone has a car nowadays and there are usually uh, one or two cars in every household. And these cars have, like uh, these cars take fuel, uh, like uh, petrol or diesel as a fuel. So it uses internal combustion engine to move the car and uh, that in uh, result uh, damages the planet. So how does deforestation damages the planet? So first of all, we need to go through the definition. What is deforestation? Cutting the trees is not de uh, deforestation. For example, uh, like uh, you can say uh, cutting the trees from the root is deforestation if you're not uh, going to grow them back. So uh, of course, deforestation occurs when there is increase in population and people Obviously, the, uh, the more there is population, the more the land is needed for the people to be like in houses. Of course, people are taking steps. People are building some uh, huge buildings and in those buildings, uh, there are multiple floors and in those multiple floors, there are a lot of flats and apartments. So this saves the land as well. And what can we do? Uh, for example, in a city where there is like um, a very little chances of growing trees, there are in societies there in uh, like houses all around every society. They have a small kind of like a garden and where they can obviously grow trees and they this can obviously help the planet. Or if you're living in an apartment, of course you cannot plant any trees but what you can do is get yourself some plants and uh, plants will also help. Of course, they cannot help as much as a tree, but they will definitely help. Number two reason was using uh, non-renewable energy resources. Non-renewable energy resources like, uh, for example, uh, uh, for the production of electricity is uh, mostly from uh, various resources. I'm gonna tell you. So the electricity production is 20% uh, from the renewable energy, uh, which is uh, okay, but what, what is alarming is that 1% is uh, petroleum, 20% uh, is nuclear, uh, radioactive elements, I suppose. Uh, coal, coal is ob obviously damaging the planet uh, because it outputs uh, heat and natural gas. Uh, these two things um, uh, end up making like uh, like 59% uh, and 60% and r roughly like uh, above 60% is from the resources that hurt the planet. And this is not good. Obviously, we need to adapt the renewable energy resources. Uh, for example, solar panels, wind turbines, hydropower. I consider hydropower as a renewable energy resource. And this will definitely help and uh, we obviously need to educate the people and definitely around 50% energy transfer is as electricity and the other 50% is wasted. And number three is uh, industries, as I uh, am saying, uh, industries damage the planet a lot. Of course, they uh, help us in other various ways as well, but maybe there are some things that in the industry can be adapted that maybe could convert, could be converted into uh, other resources. And obviously, the, like for example, electrical resources instead of the uh, heat engines 
or something like that like in uh, definitely not in every industry there is a heat engine involved but in uh, most of the industries they use that engine uh, probably not in the uh, developed countries but in the developed countries or underdeveloped countries so yeah uh, and uh, obviously number four is the fuel usage as I said in the cars uh, uh, most of the cars uh, use uh, like a few like petrol or diesel or natural gas like uh, we call it a uh, CNG or LNG as a, a fuel and they in like in result damage the planet for example like they output a lot of heat and heat engines as the name suggests outputs heat and these fuels help uh, like uh, these fuels uh, like uh, uh, the heat engines convert these fuels as mechanical energy to move the car and, and another reason is uh, I haven't mentioned in here before but uh, there's a reason that we use a lot of uh, appliances at, at home that uses uh, natural gas uh, as a fuel for example the stove uh, a stove can be replaced by an electrical stove like uh, that use induction uh, heating which is very efficient and the heating through natural gas is not efficient like uh, not very efficient for example if you cook something on the uh, electrical stove the maximum heat gets transferred to the uh, 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 that pot or the cooker uh, because of uh, the magnetic field and there is an uh, there is an iron uh, plate that is underneath the electric cooker or electric pot that is designed for the induction uh, stove uh, iron helps uh, amplify the magnetic fields and in result the eddy current is also like the eddy current increases which in result increases the heat uh, so uh, the uh, the food is uh, uh, fastly cooked. So and the other thing is that uh, we also use heat, like we also use gas uh, heaters, uh, like in our houses as well, especially here in Pakistan. So we could also replace them with the heaters. So I've talked about cars uh, before, but I'm talking about cars now. So what can we do uh, to like help with the cars? Of course, we're aware of the electric cars. Uh, for example, the, the the famous company for cars is Tesla, and um, other companies are also working on electric cars. So what is the advantage of electric cars? I'm gonna show you as well. For example, like in normal cars, there's a combustion engine that I said that uh, transfers the, uh, the, the fuel uh, that is uh, either gas, petrol, and diesel, and that converts into the mechanical energy that helps transfer, like they, that helps uh, move the car. And those engines are generally 20 to 40 percent efficient, 40 percent in the best case scenario. Usually it is in this uh, 20 percent territory. So uh, these are not good for the planet at all. So what can we do is we can adapt electrical cars. Electrical cars come with uh, like uh, electrical motors, uh, to, like induction motors. Uh, induction motors are the invention of Tesla, Nikola Tesla, uh, scientist, a very famous scientist in the uh, electrical engineering world. Uh, you can say, f like he invented a lot of things. Uh, the, for example, the AC power that we're using currently in our homes is due to the Nikola Tesla's proposed solutions and the induction motors that we use in our fans. Uh, is uh, the invention of Nikola Tesla and the three-phase induction motor of course is also the invention which is very powerful so mostly three-phase induction motor is used in uh, electric cars and the efficiency is uh, around 60 percent and increasing of course because of the uh, the technology getting better day by day and there are other perks of electric cars so the electric cars do not hurt the planet like uh, of course, they generate heat as, uh, as well because of the motor, but they do not generate as much as heat uh, that will help save the planet and the carbon emission as well. So after all this, what can we do? Uh, I have mentioned before, but we'll go through them real quick. So we can plant trees and we can also have some plants in our like uh, little pots in our rooms or apartments. 
so they can help uh, clean the air and uh, also plant some trees wherever possible, uh, volunteer for them. And we adapt the uh, cleaner uh, energy resources, for example, solar energy resources. That is, uh, uh, of course, 20% efficient, but considering we are getting the solar radiations every day and that's, and that's not used at all, it's way better than hurting the planet, like uh, using other means of like uh, uh, producing electricity, solar energy, wind energy, and hydropower is the way to go to help save the planet. And I mentioned before, we should use electrical appliances. For example, electric stove, electric heater, and all uh, these uh, appliances wherever it is it can be replaced we can also like for example instead of using a gas heater we can use an electrical heater so that that's of course better the gas heater produces like uh, um, uh, increases the carbon emission and uh, electric heater only like produces heat and last but not the least we can like uh, nowadays it's a big trend people use wireless energy transfer for like for their phones and other stuff for like charging their gadgets of course wireless energy transfer is very efficient it is done through the air which is a very bad conductor of electricity and wireless energy transfer uh, for uh, of, of course like power uh, transfer like uh, charging your phone or turning on the lights and uh, and that stuff it is very inefficient it produces more heat and heat is uh, definitely damaging uh, of course the other means of heat as well uh, if we are not using them heat is there generally increasing the average temperature of the planet so uh, we can slow down the planet destruction and maybe we can adapt other ways that i did not explain in this video and you know so let me know in the comments and of course we're using wireless energy transfer for uh, communication like uh, their radio waves and other uh, stuff so uh, like a megawatts of power is uh, transferred that is wasted every day but uh, there is no other way of communication so that is a necessity otherwise for power demanding tasks, wired transmission or wired uh, power transfer is the best way to go. So yeah, and I hope you like this video, my approach and uh, if uh, I didn't explain something that I should have done or if I made uh, a mistake in something that uh, may I did wrong. So maybe uh, you can correct me as well. With that being said, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click on the notification bell. And I'll guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.